Hey guys, what's up? Bogley here. Uh, I know, again, it's been a little bit since I've done a video, but I've been getting a request to do a fish tank like I did actually over at Code Space. I know there's a handful of people that have seen that. I know I don't know if Code's actually done a video on his base at all in Cravers. I'm not sure. Um, but, so I thought I would quick build one of these for you, and show off actually a little bit of a blimp that I made the other weekend. I know it was in Dark J's live stream, but I thought I'd give it a view over on my own channel here. So what I've done is I've actually just done a 3x2 circle or a square kind of thing. Just dug a hole one block down so that the water kind of gets trapped there as well. I'm putting up glass just so I have like a surface to put the water on so that uh, you have an actual tank. So I just got some glass slabs that I'm throwing up for some little walls here. And then I'm going to fill it up and put architect signs below it, because that's actually what does the fish. Fun little stuff with signs. That'll be a decent little size just to show what I all do. So I'm going to cheat just for a second, because I've already got the code set up, because I was playing around with it plenty of times before. So that right there is actually the code. I'll go through it and I'll show you what it all is and what it all does. But that's what they end up looking like. That is all you really need for a fish tank. The rest of it, it's literally just water. That's it. Nothing special. And actually, that is a fish tank. That's it. I mean, you can make it higher so that you don't really necessarily... Why are those corners looking like they're weirdly draining? Now I know why. Because I'm using slabs, and there's an open corner. That should maybe... I think... fix it? Yep, that does it. And I ran out of glass. Uh, grass. There we go. There we go. All done. Whatever. It works. But now, so the top's all flat, and it just looks like it's flowing. So there's a fish tank. You can make it whatever size you want, have as many fish as you want, all that sort of stuff. Now, the best thing is to hide all the, log the logic stuff in here. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to dig down below. So now you got to count blocks. So I'm one down, and then this block is then the base of my tank, so i got to go below that. If I pull up two more... Now then I can just dig right down here. And that should be the first block of water in the tank. I'll throw a sign. Now, when you're putting the text in here, the input, I mean, I've already gone through a lot of this. That calls for your input one, calls for input two, display whatever's there. That is the display of whatever's coming in. So we're just going to get rid of all that and put that in there. So now... Going through this, what this is, is each one of these lines from the less than sign to the greater than sign here is one fish. All of this is one fish. Because these signs, they'll flip the other direction unless they're being used for a code. Like this color here, from the greater than, or from, yeah, greater than to this less than sign here will not be displayed at all, including those signs. But since this has no actual like coding inside of it, that displays, but it flips. So this is the tail. These are some of the, the gills and whatnot. This one right here is the blue one, because I color change to blue, do that one, and then I color change back to white. That's why this is so long. And then this one here doesn't display as well, because that's part of the color change white. There's the eye. And then that one again flips, and that's the mouth. So there's one fish right there. Then I've got another one here, but I changed that one scale to, to red. And then right in here, if you look, that's actually just a plain Jane, just a normal fish, no fancy colors, nothing. So if you want one fish, just take that right there and copy it. That's all you got to enter. So now... That is actually putting it as, as well right in the floor, because it only goes up one block when you first fill things in. 
So we gotta come up here, I'm just gonna hit enter just for sake of ease on seeing things for you guys. Back up top for this one. Center, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna do a code to get an offset. Again, you guys should know these. I've already done a couple of videos. If not, go check those out. Some of my uh, earlier stuff, I think I did a whole one on signs. We're going to do an offset equaling... Go with two. That should put us up right at the bottom of the tank. What was that? And we'll jump on out of here. There they are! They're at the bottom of the tank. Throw another one in and I'll go up a little higher with that one. Pigsy's in my face. What is this? Get out of here. Oh, rude. But, so, <laughs> what we're going to do is I'm going to throw this one another block back, which is actually going to end up being outside. Yeah. Come on. There we go. So, I'm actually going to come on out here. And I'll throw this sign. Again, this is where we got to be counting blocks. Because now I've also gone down another block. So since that one's set at 2, this one will have to be set at 3 just to be where that one is. And I'm going to go up one more than that, so i got to go to 4. So we'll drop that in. Come over here. And we will do one of those. Can't even type now. And 4. Now that should be one block back and one block up from the first set. And actually going the other way because I turned the arc sign around, I guess. So that's the other way too. You, you, if you want them facing the other direction, type it in the same way. Just spin the arc tech sign. Turn it around though if you face the other way. And that's kind of how you can get a little bit of a three-dimensional feel to it because these ones are a lot closer. They're brighter, all that sort of stuff. They're further back. They're harder to see with all the water. Kind of fades it out a little bit. So that's about how you make an architect sign and you can play around with other icons and all that sort of stuff and make bubbles and I've seen pictures of like castles and whatnot. I tried doing some of that. If you try to grab it straight off the internet, in here the architect signs don't necessarily like a lot of the alt commands for a lot of characters. They just don't like some of the weird stuff. It's your normal keyboard plus a few extras, not a lot. So, you gotta play around with a lot of it. A lot of the times they won't necessarily work if you're going for whatever they've got there. As well, these signs, they like to center stuff, so you gotta work in a lot of spacing as well if you do that. It's a pain in the butt if you do some big ones. So, that's a fish tank. Uh, I'm going to actually then head on over towards... Dark Jay's base, because I bought a couple of plots over there. Dark. So, I had a little weekend project the other week. I was able to get on, did some time. I had a little bit of help with uh, Mummy and Black Shadow Gaming. Yeah, as well, guys, if you don't know server is dark j server come play join us all we got some crazy builds going on in here some awesome stuff is happening the password is dark j fun capital d j and f you know dark j does his live stream out of here every week We've got a castle going on i'm working on building uh a mm, should i say it yeah i guess i kind of have to now that I'm not. all right I'm working currently on building like a either a king of the hill or a zone control kind of game. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be big. Honestly, I think it's like the biggest building that I've actually undertaken at this point, besides this massive one that's going to take months, if not years. So that's a long-term project. So there's the blimp. That was my weekend project. And if you look too, it's perfect timing sun's about to be going down. If you look in the fins and towards the back of the basket you can actually see lights flashing. I tried to do as much of this in detail as I could. 
try to get as much on there as possible. Make it so everywhere you turn, all of a sudden there's something new, something awesome, something cool. It was a pain to build all this stupid goo. I don't know how many times we bounced right off of this thing just trying to land on it or trying to walk on it. All of a sudden you change a level, you walk up to an edge, and it launches you. I've actually had times where I've gone sliding across the entire balloon because of it. Like right here, I'm not touching anything. And <laughs> I couldn't stop. Went flying right off. So here's the top of the balloon. Got the nice fins on here. You can see the lights flickering, change from one to another. See if I can land on these right now. I'm getting some lag. Ah! Oh, fly! Oh, don't die, don't die. That was close. Oh, there's some lag. There we go. I mean, I even tried to, like, recreate some sort of a little engine looking thing here with the billows and the gears and fans and smoke and I think it turned out pretty well. I'm honestly overall impressed with myself with the, the basket. I didn't think I was going to get it to look that well. A pat on the back of my own. Oh jeez. No, no, no. Nope. Okay. okay. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh jeez. This leg is nuts. Oh man. I even turned my settings down the other day. What's going on? Jump and I see like three images of the whole time I'm jumping. I don't think I can build any more logic stuff out here at this base. I think Pigsy Soccer is kind of killing me. So, inside of the basket right now, I still gotta decorate it. Maybe put some chairs, pilot window area, I don't know, something. I gotta get some inspiration for that though. So I got a little ladder as well, where you can climb on up into the blue. Now, I know Dark J kinda failed at getting out of here, it was quite hilarious to watch. There's a trick. Come over to a door, go through the door. Before you get to the chain, look down a little bit. And no, I didn't go close enough. <laughs> I failed. So go like right on out to the edge here. Look down a bit. Come on, what? Did they change this? What is going on? There we go. All right, so run into the chain. Look down and glide. When you open your glider, it should just kind of push you right on out. It's more of a pain, honestly, to get in those chains, but you can do it. No. No, 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 no. I end up killing myself here. All this lag and all this falling and running into things. Come on. Ah. So you can run up these chains, hit this block. Now you're at the right height. Line yourself up. See, you can't move forward. That's the hard point, is of that ladder counting as a full block. What you gotta do is you gotta run and jump in. As you jump, you kinda slowly move forward. So here's also something cool I wanna show you guys. Found this out the other day when I was running around in the server. Uh, cover those up. Let's uncover those for right now. So I wanna do something with this. We found this out when we were running around in the, uh, the robot build on the feet. There's these ladders on the ceiling like that. If you jump... I have to do it here. Ah, stop bouncing! Stop bouncing! That's the kind of stuff that we always get when we're building this thing. So, the ladders, when you jump up into them... I can jump without hitting any... Come on, really? Is all this too high? Alright, there we go. You can hang from them. Like, you can hang and you can walk on them. The thing is, if you look down, you walk down and you fall off. So if you've got a ceiling made out of these, you can literally just jump up to it 
hang from it and travel from one end to the other. That was actually kind of useful when I was doing the top edges of the, the goo, because there was actually a couple of points where I just hung from the ladders here. It was awesome. And so I gotta fill this back in now. Probably get them later though. Oop, that one. Okay. Get that one. Get it. I'll do it later. Nope, not working. Um, actually, I even just did the logic for the, the lights, too. Just right over here. Because they alternate back and forth. So I just put a switch onto a XOR gate. You know, I just check them out right over here on the little window. Like I've shown you guys before in the early days of wiring stuff. I think my first video of logic. I explained this screen. So there's a XOR that will constantly turn on and off because of this timer. Sends a signal through to the timer. As soon as the timer goes on, this shuts off. Timer shuts off. It goes back. That's a clock. Uh, so I grabbed one set off of the timer and then the other set off of the XOR. So when one's on, the other's off. That was it. Um, so that's actually about all I really have to show you guys today. Uh, as I get further on that build I might bring you guys out there, it's just right now it's so bare bone basic that there's nothing to show. So have a good one guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do. Let me know what you want help on. Any wiring projects, any builds, whatever you got going on. Let me know. I'd love to see it, if nothing else, and see if I can help you out with any of the logic. Have a good one, guys.